Binance remains to be the largest cryptocurrency exchange. And in order for you to be able to make a purchase of Bitcoin on the Binance platform, for most of us, the easiest way to be able to do this is Binance P. To P. In this video, I'll be able to explain to you reasons why you should use Binance P2P, show you exactly what each and every step means so that you can make your first Bitcoin purchase today. Let's get those credits rolling. P2P stands for peer to peer. This essentially means that you are dealing with another user on the platform. In order for you to be able to do this transaction very easily and safely, kindly make sure that you first of all click on the first link in the description below to sign up for an account. The second thing that you will need to do is to verify this account. You will be asked for your national identification where you'll take a photo of that as well and also to do a photo of yourself which is a selfie. This actually verifies your account and opens you to the world of P. To P. Binance is making sure that every single user on the platform is verified so that the person you're dealing with is an actual human being. And in case of any disputes, they already have the details of the person that you are dealing with. The first thing that we will do is get onto the Binance up here we are on the binance app this is the home page you will see every single thing that you need to know about binance on this home page so the first thing that we'll do is click on p to p trading once we've clicked on it it will show us in our local currency Kenya shilling every single trader that's there on the platform but just in case on your screen the currency does not show KES on the top right click on it and then you can be able to see all the available currencies that are there to choose the one for your country at the top there's a search bar just enter your currency and for my case I'll put in KES click on it and then it will bring me all the users that are on the platform either buying or selling at the moment we have six different cryptocurrencies that you can be able to buy this are usdt btc busd bnb eth and dai usdt busd and dai are stable coins and then you have bitcoin bnb and ethereum as well that you can make a purchase of. In this particular video, I'll take you through the step-by-step -step process on how you can be able to do your very first purchase on the platform. You have USDT, BTC, BUSD. The first thing that we'll do is I'll click on BTC. That's what we want to buy. You can actually set the amount that you want to buy. This helps you to filter out anyone who is outside of the amount that you want to purchase. Say I want to purchase $100 worth, which is 12,000 shillings. I'll click on confirm. So you'll notice that at the top, it now shows me 12,000 shillings. And then the second thing, how do I want to buy? So I'll click on the payment method. These are the payment methods that are currently available for you as a buyer of Bitcoin. The first at the top is M-Pesa. The next is M-Pesa Pay Bill, Bank Transfer, EQ Bank, Airtel Money, and then there are a host of other ways of transferring money. So the first one we'll click on is M-Pesa at the top, or you can do M-Pesa Pay Bill. So those two. So click on Confirm, and then it will bring me the people who are able to do these two methods. First one shows as Lindsay at the top and the current price per Bitcoin 2.613 and the next is Crypto Guy 2.618. One of the good things right here that you will see is it actually shows you on the left of their name 
whether that person is online or not. So when you see that green dot, that enables you to know whether this person is online or not. Any trader that you see who has a yellow name or a yellow check mark on them is a merchant, which means that they have gone an extra step of getting verified on the platform and they are a trusted person on the platform. That is the second thing to check. The next is the number of trades. So on the right of their names, you will see the number of trades. These are the number of trades in the last 30 days. The higher the number, the better because that shows you how active this person is. As an example, with Crypto Guy with 6,000 trades in the last 30 days, that means they're doing about 200 trades a day. This means this person is ever online and you can be able to actually work with them really well. And they have a 99.94 completion rate. This is really good. This means that anytime they start a transaction, they always complete it. 99% of the time. So what I'll do before we do the transaction is I'll click on the name of the person and you can actually be able to see all their details as well. So their info, the number of trades they've done in the last 30 days, which I've just told you, their completion rate, the number of ads they have out, and the fact that they have their email, SMS, KYC address, already verified, they're a verified merchant, and the average release time means that once you have paid them, on average, it takes them about three minutes to release back to you, which is really good on the platform. The average pay time, if they're actually the ones buying from you, then they take about three minutes to be able to do. So that's really good. Then they have about 7,600 positive feedback and only 14 negative. They registered about 504 days ago, which is almost two years ago. They did a trade almost 500 days ago and they have trading counterparties, so many of them, and they have done over 42,000 trades. This enables you to know how trusted this person is on the platform. And you can also check the feedback, what these people have said, check how many people have said how good they are. These are all things that you can be able to check. Check the ads that they have placed. So they are buying USDT, BUSD, BNB. They are selling as well. All this are for you to be able to see what kind of trades they are doing on the platform. So we'll go back and that actually is able to show you how much details there are about what people are doing on the platform. We'll do one example of a trade and then I'll be able to show you step by step of exactly how this works and be able to show you different ways that this enables you to do your trade safely. So the first thing that we'll do here, I'll change this so that I do a small test one. And then we have this first person with 176. So I'll click on buy. Once I've clicked on buy, I can be able to see the different ways I can do a purchase. You can either do by fiat, which is the actual amount of money that you're going to spend, or by crypto, which you can actually set how much of a particular crypto you want to buy. Click on buy fiat, and I want to buy just a small amount for the sake of this tutorial. At the Bottom here, you see the trade information. The payment window is 15 minutes. The buyer's nickname is Efficient Trader, but you can actually be able to go and see the details like we had done with the previous person. This is not a merchant, but you can still do transactions with people who are not merchants, but they have done a number of trades in the last 30 days. So the next thing that you need to check, how can you be able to pay them? For this particular person, there are three different payment methods. I've shown you there are so many of them. You can do M-Pesa, Paybill, or Bank Transfer. I usually prefer Paybill because it's free, but we'll click on Buy with Zero Fee, and we have a payment window of 15 minutes. So once that happens, an order is created. And when this order is created, Binance is holding the seller's crypto in the escrow account. This means that Binance has actually come in the middle of this transaction and is holding the Bitcoin I want to buy 
from the seller's wallet and holding it on my behalf. And then I am supposed to pay 500 shillings and the crypto amount that I'm supposed to get will be 0019143. Please keep that in mind because we'll see it later. The good thing is this transaction is for free. I'll not pay anything on the trade this person has actually said hello please proceed with the payment and then i'll say hi doing that now then you have a chat here where you can be able to chat with the other person so i'll close the chat for now and then i'll click on make payment and there are three ways of making payment to this person one is mpesa one is pay bill one is bank transfer I'll click on pay bill that's the one i want to use and there's a pay bill number and the account number usually i keep the pay bill number in my mind and then the account number is what i'll click on copy so copy successful and the amount that we are supposed to do is up there then i'll go to my mpesa app click on pay pay bill and then i'll be able to make the transfer to the account we are purchasing 500 shillings worth of bitcoin this just helps you to understand that you can make a purchase of bitcoin of any amount you don't need to buy a full bitcoin in order to be able to do this so we've already gotten the bank message i usually like to copy it and this is one thing i'll recommend to you to do as well and then i go to the chart and i input this as well click on paste so that i have it there as evidence that i have done the transaction and the transaction is from my account and then i click on transfer to notify the seller and then it will bring the screen for releasing and it tells me that 95 percent of the seller's orders have been completed within nine minutes and there's a counter that's showing there of that average time that this particular person takes and the reference message is here this is a method that i have used and then there are terms that he had placed which he said please stay online to complete this trade and then he said no third party payments will be executed this is really important kindly only send from your personal account when you are doing these transactions third party transactions are not allowed on the binance platform so in order for you to be able to do this really easily kindly make sure that money is just coming from your account you get a message that tells you that the order has been completed and 0.0001943 btc has been deposited into your funding wallet that's a funding wallet that we are going to see and then we'll click on check wallet but let's just check what you're supposed to do here you can be able to take this to binance earn which is coming in a future video i'll be able to show you how to make use of binance earn kindly do a feedback for the transaction that you've done this transaction has happened really easily so i'll click on positive and then you can be able to say what has happened during that particular transaction if it's negative then you can actually show here this is either slow impolite impatient and you can actually do that there we've had a positive trading experience and then we'll click on first transaction and i'll click on leave comments you can make the comment to be anonymous if you want but that's how i actually do it he's also done feedback as well that will be showing on my profile as well we'll go to our funding wallets so or just go back and then click on wallets and then we'll click on funding wallet when we are here we have our triple zero one nine one four three in our funding wallet in order for us to go the next step and put this into our earn wallet where it will be able to earn us some money we'll need to transfer it first to the spot wallet so at the top here i'll click on transfer from the funding wallet to the spot wallet click on max and then click on confirm transfer then at the top here click on spot and you have your 0.0019143 btc at this particular moment it's in the spot wallet in the next video i will show you how you can be able to transfer this money from the spot wallet to start earning money in the earn wallet 
I'll see you in the next one.